Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y is Europe's best-selling car in August in 2023. Tesla's lithium refinery set to begin production in early 2024. Tesla stacks massive supply of Cybertruck castings, hinting production is near. And, first Tesla V4 supercharger station in North America under construction in Oregon. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car in Europe in August 2023. Strong sales strengthened the car's position, cementing its place as the best-selling car in Europe for eight months of 2023. Jado Dynamics has published vehicle sales data for 28 European markets. The European new car market expanded in August 2023, marking the 13th month of growth in passenger car registrations. Although Volkswagen and Toyota remained the best-selling car brands in Europe, both began to lose market share. Meanwhile, Tesla, with its Model Y, again demonstrated the best result. In August 2023, the European Union petrol car market increased marginally by 2.1%, although its market share fell to 32.7%. Registrations of battery electric vehicles in the EU increased by 118.1%, reaching 165,165 units, representing 21% of the market. The share of diesel cars is now 12.5%. Tesla Model Y has once again become the best-selling car in Europe. In August, the company managed to sell 21,549 units, up 208%, compared to the same period last year. The SUV was out of competition, as its closest competitor, Peugeot 208 with 15,840 sales, lagged behind by an impressive 5,709 units. Volkswagen T-Roc is in third place with 15,198 units. Fiat and Abarth 500 with 14,469 units, and the Dacia Sandero with 14,428, are in fourth and fifth place respectively. Notably, Tesla Model 3 also saw a significant increase in sales, compared to the same period last year, ranking 10th on the list, with 11,943 units sold. In the first eight months of the year, sales of Tesla Model Y amounted to 169,420 units, which is the highest figure of any car model available in Europe. Model Y led in Belgium, Denmark, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Switzerland, as well as hitting the top five in both Germany and the UK. In August 2023, Tesla increased its market share by 2.43 points in the overall European new car market, setting a new record of 3.76%. The brand's BEV market share has jumped from 10.2% in August 2022 to 17.3% in August 2023. Between January and August 2023, Tesla registrations totaled 236,400 units. Moving to the next update, Tesla's lithium refinery set to begin production in early 2024. Tesla's lithium refinery in Robstown, Texas, is on the fast track to production, with the company hoping to start operations early in 2024. According to Jason Beaven, senior manager of operations at Tesla, preparations at the site are progressing swiftly. The timeline for the refinery was outlined by Beaven while hosting a booth at the Manufacturing Day Expo in Corpus Christi this week. In an interview with KIII TV, Beaven said, the refinery will start commissioning the assets early in the year. This is the point at which the equipment has been installed and handed over to Tesla's operations team. From there the facility will ramp production through the end of the year. Beaven also suggested potential for expansion of Tesla's lithium refinery beyond the initial phase, emphasizing the positive economic impact it could have on both employees and the local community. Tesla held a groundbreaking ceremony for their new lithium refinery in May 2023. The company has been actively recruiting talent to support the new facility in Robstown, just outside of Corpus Christi. Currently, there are 41 job openings posted on Tesla's careers website for roles including a mechanical commissioning coordinator, 
chemical operator, field engineer, lead lab technician, analytical chemistry scientist, and many more. Moving to the next update, Tesla stacks massive supply of Cybertruck castings, hinting production is near. Tesla is stacking a massive supply of Cybertruck castings at Gigafactory Texas, hinting the production is near, which means deliveries aren't far behind either. Tesla Cybertruck production has been nearing for months, as the company has shown early stage validation, public road testing, crash assessments, and some of the best-built Cybertruck units, all within the past few months. Production is obviously getting close, especially when we base this thought on the fact that public road testing of RC-labeled or release candidate Cybertrucks have been spotted throughout the country over the past month and a half. With one of the best prototypes to date surfacing recently, Tesla is refining its manufacturing techniques to prepare for Cybertruck production. Another thing it is doing is stacking up a massive supply of both front and rear castings for the Cybertruck, meaning it is already in the process of building portions of the vehicle. Recent images taken by Giga Texas drone operator Joe Tegmeyer seem to indicate that production is basically underway, especially if you consider these castings to be part of the initial manufacturing of the Cybertruck. If this is any indication of how close Tesla is to producing the Cybertruck, it seems approval for deliveries from the EPA could come within the coming weeks. What's even more interesting is the fact that there are a vast number of castings here, so Tesla should be able to ramp up the Cybertruck program somewhat rapidly. Tesla will be making an attempt to ramp up Cybertruck production as soon as possible to make a dent in the 2 million reservations it has for the pickup, according to the latest numbers from the order tracker. Additionally, Cybertruck deliveries will help the automaker attain its 1.8 million unit delivery goal for 2023, especially after a Q3 miss. Moving to the last update, first Tesla V4 supercharger station in North America under construction in Oregon. After a flurry of activity in recent months to build out V4 supercharger infrastructure across Europe, Tesla has started installing the first V4 station in North America and Oregon. The V4 superchargers will not only offer faster charging speeds in the future, but they also have longer charging cables, allowing for easier access for non-Tesla electric vehicles. According to a post on the Tesla Motors Club forum, the supercharger currently under construction in Wilsonville, Oregon, will be North America's first V4 station. Construction of the Wilsonville supercharger, located in the SE corner of the parking lot of the Argyle Square Shopping Center, began in late August, however unlike the typical construction that takes place, the charging posts and bases were built and installed, but without the wiring inside the conduits. Additionally, the supercharger cabinets and distribution cabinets were installed before the actual supercharger posts, leading to speculation that this could mean it was going to be a V4 station. As it turns out, those suspicions were correct, as the V4 supercharger posts have now been installed. As you can see from the photo on left, these are not your typical V3 posts that have the large opening in the middle, and while they don't have the faceplates installed yet, when you compare them to a V4 supercharger installation in the UK, which is on the right, it is clear, these are V4 posts. Based on the current state of construction, it would not be surprising to see the Wilsonville V4 supercharger be ready to have the switch flip this week. Then it will be up to the local utility to provide the power and Tesla to energize it, which will hopefully happen soon after. When it opens, it will likely at first be limited to Tesla owners only much like the first V4 supercharger installation in Europe in the Netherlands. If that is the case, Tesla will open it up to owners of other EVs, once they have ensured everything is working as it should. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this, let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.